y'all, it's Paige, and today I'm doing something completely new on my channel. Today I am filming my first ever makeup related video. The one thing that I am really happy about is that all makeup videos on my channel are definitely going to be cruelty free. And so I'm really happy just to be sharing a whole bunch of products with you guys that aren't tested on animals and that are just made with love and make me really happy and I don't know, but without further ado, let's get started. First things first, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and applying it all over my eyelids. And then taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which I am almost out of, I'm going to be spraying this all over my face. Using the Morphe 350 palette, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and this banana type color powder and apply it as my base for my eyeshadow. With my IT Cosmetics Duo brush, I'm going to be taking this light tan color from my transition shade and buffing it into my crease. Using the same brush, I'm going to add some more depth into my crease by taking another tan shade which is just a little bit darker than the first shade we used. Next, I'm using a really old brush so I'm sorry that I cannot tell you what that is but I'm taking a burgundy shade and just again adding more depth into my crease. This is going to basically be a super warm toned look and so I just want to add all those good old warm tones. Mixing these two shades together, I'm taking the Naked 2 brush for some reason, which never works out because there's so much fallout. As you can see, I'm a mess right now trying to clean this off my face. Paige, what, what you doing, buddy? <laughs> At this point, I switch back to my IT Cosmetics Duo brush. It's gonna make the edges sharp as well as clean up any fallout, which was a lot. <laughs> Today I am using the Kat Von D foundation in the shade medium. You may be like, whoa Paige, that doesn't match your face, but I promise you that it matches the rest of my body. As I stopped tanning, my tan remained on my body, but as for my face, it has just kind of worn away from taking off my makeup every single night and whatnot. But I'm going to be blending this in with this random foundation brush I have and then buffing it out with my beauty blender. Buffing it out, blending it out, whatever, same thing, same thing. Today I am actually trying out a new concealer. It is the Wet n Wild Celebrity Concealer. I apply this in a line under my eyes and then make it into a triangle with my finger before I blend it out with my beauty blender. I also decided to test out a new translucent powder, so this is the Tarte High Performance Natural Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. To be honest, I don't know how to feel about this because it just wasn't blending out for me. Using the banana powder from my Anastasia Contour Kit, I am going to try to fix these white circles that I have created under my eyes. Uh, no, it's not going to fix it, but I'm going to try. Now taking the shade Java, I'm going to contour-ish my face and whatnot. Using any leftover product on my brush, I'm just going to be contouring my nose as well as my jawline. I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Blush in the shade 06 and following the lines of my contour for blush today. Now that my face makeup is basically done, I'm going to go back in with this rusty red shade right under my eye with this smudge brush. Not going to go too heavy, just doing something to add some emphasis to my lower eye. And to brighten up my eye a little bit, I'm going to be mixing the two highlighting shades and just applying it to my inner corner. And with any extra powder that I have, I'm going to be applying it underneath my eyebrow. My ride or die is my wet n wild liquid eyeliner and unfortunately I can't do eyeliner on camera, it's too hard so I went ahead and did it already. Next I'm going in with my wet n wild mascara and just applying it before I apply my false lashes. Of course I never like angle my head so I always get mascara on my eyeshadow, Ugh, it's, it's, it's whatever. I'm using the duo adhesive glue to put on my lashes today. 
The one con I have about this glue is that it does not get tacky right away and so I feel like I'm sitting there for a while fanning it out. But eventually it does get tacky and it gets the job done. I'm just horrible at putting lashes on. I don't think it's ever a trade all master. But you know what? I, I do it, sort of. It it's fine. Since that was already a hassle for me, I'm going to do exactly what I did to this eye to the other. And now taking Champagne Pop, my favorite highlighter by the wonderful Jaclyn Hill. I'm just using a random brush that I grabbed and applying it above my eyebrows, on the bridge of the nose, on the little cupid's bow, on my cheekbones. You know the drill. Now that my eyelash glue has dried, I'm going back in with my eyeliner and just tracing right over the top of that fake lash line. This is just gonna hide the lashes a little bit more. I mean, they're not gonna be completely concealed, but it will help a little bit. And then once again, taking my mascara, I'm just gonna blend in the eyelashes into my normal eyelashes. To complete my makeup look, I'm putting on the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in the shade Trailblazer. I'm not a huge lipstick lip gloss person, that's why I like this, because it's just super simple and it gets rid of my foundation lips and I am then a happy camper. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this different type of video on my channel. I am so proud of myself because I did not give up on filming this time as I have been trying to break my creative block that I've been in for as long as I can remember. I would find myself filming a video and then I would give up halfway and I was just such a perfectionist. But when it comes to makeup, I have so much fun doing it and just being able to put it on the internet, I think is definitely gonna kickstart my YouTube again and I'm really excited for that. I'm not gonna be completely devoting my channel to beauty. I am still going to be doing vlogs and whatnot. I think this is just gonna get me back into the habit of uploading and then so I can keep up with these type of videos I can go back into vlogging I can start doing videos on veganism because I really want to start doing those basically anything that comes to mind I just want to put on my channel because why should I try to stick to one style I life is too short my friend but I think makeup videos are going to be the thing that definitely pull me back into the YouTube world and it's something I need YouTube used to be like my second home and there's been so many times where I'm like I'm coming back but it's never really quite worked out. But already, as I was filming this today, I was like, Oh, I could do this video! Oh, I could do this video! And ah, I cannot wait, you guys. I literally cannot wait. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching, and if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, as well as check out all my other social medias. It's time that I finally stay devoted, and I'm excited to be back in a whole new type of way. Love you guys. See you next time. Hey, I got a Glock in my arm! Oh, 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 oh,